In Decision 2024, independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. says President Biden is a much bigger threat to democracy than former President Trump. This comes as Democrats are increasingly worried about the impact Kennedy's campaign could have on the 2024 election. National correspondent Matt Gilka has the story. I can make the argument that President Biden is a much worse threat to democracy. Presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. arguing President Joe Biden's, quote, weaponization of federal agencies against free speech is a bigger threat to the country's future than former President Donald Trump. President Biden is the first candidate in history, the first president in history that has used the federal agencies to censor political speech. Kennedy was temporarily banned from Instagram in 2021 for sharing debunked vaccine information while the Biden administration was working with tech companies to filter COVID misinformation. The issue of free speech has become a pillar of Kennedy's campaign as he looks to play spoiler in the 2024 election. He's also taking votes on their cardinal issue, democracy, freedom of speech. That's an, that's an additional threat to the Democrats. Kennedy's impact on the race is already being felt in the polls. A recent poll from Quinnipiac University has Biden leading Trump by three points in a head-to-head -head election rematch. But Trump takes a one-point lead when Kennedy and other candidates were factored in. His sister, Rory Kennedy, a Biden supporter, says she's worried her brother's candidacy could give Trump the White House. I am concerned that Voting for Bobby is going to take votes away from Biden. Longtime Democratic strategist James Carville also sounding the alarm on the party, potentially losing its grip on the youth vote, especially with minority groups. We're not shedding them. They're, they're leaving in the droves. While Democrats are watching Kennedy's campaign closely, it's likely he could siphon off potential Trump voters too. Kennedy's impact on the election could come down to the states where he's officially on the ballot. And right now, that's only Utah. But his campaign says he has gathered enough signatures to appear on other states' ballots, including North Carolina, a potential battleground state. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Gelker.